Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey! Fellas, what's going on? Shave Cave here. Today's the day. I just got back from the Razor Emporium Meetup 2022, and they gave us this charcoal, cedarwood, and bourbon. Fellas, let's get into it. going in with a Razor Emporium first handle got this over at the meetup I'm going in with the 34C with a diamond edge guys we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff and particularly this set right here plus the meetup we're also going to have some filming in the meetup too so stick around or fast forward guys how's it going <clears throat> just got back from the uh, 2022 Razor Emporium meetup oh man this is a group called Arizona Shavers, and they're on Facebook. You guys should follow them. Um, I believe uh, Matt is one of the, Matt Plasarsic of Razor Emporium is one of the administrators of that site. So um, I ended up getting this, um, you guys know about Shave Me This, right? Well, let's talk about Shave, shave Me This really quick. <clears throat> let's see, first shave, me, shave Meetup I ever went to was the Big Shave Swest 3 over in Pasadena, California. I think that was like 2016 or 2017. I can't forget, but ever since then, I absolutely love going to Shave Meetups. You go to Shave Meetups to meet like-minded people, to make um, new contacts, to meet artisans, to meet other YouTube content creators like myself. All right, guys, I've never actually used a Razor Emporium brush, but we're going to go ahead and use this. They actually made this on site, guys. I'm going to uh, put as many, as much of the clips as I can in there. And so, please, I encourage you to, to, to check that out. Um, this is the first time. It's a little bit softer, so, as you can see. And um, they didn't really want us to use it right away, but... I can't help it, I'm gonna use it. All right, so I got a little bit of the brush there, we're gonna work it into the face. I couldn't believe it, guys. I couldn't believe it. The meetup was so awesome. <clears throat> All right. Wow, so the scent on this is charcoal, cedarwood, and bourbon. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, it's a little soft because we actually made it right there. Um, Razor Emporium decided to have a meetup, mm. and it was so awesome, guys. All right, let's add a little bit more water. First time using this brush. First time using this soap. Mm. There we go. Anyways. So, we went down to this meetup, and, uh, guys, it was just so awesome. Just so awesome. You guys ever get a chance to go to a meetup? You gotta go to a meetup, man. Mmm. And this soap, man, is just so good. All right. Hmm, it whips. Nice. Man, this soap smells so good, guys. Anyways, it was so cool, guys. I uh, went down with my girlfriend um, uh, down in Phoenix. Um, drove down on a Thursday. Ended up staying with my father, who lives in Phoenix. Yeah, man. That works out all right. I made a little bit of a mess here, but that's what lather whipping does. Guys, I just can't believe we are in meetup season again. It was really, really cool, guys. I saw all kinds of folks, man. I saw, like, Smiles for Miles. I saw DD Razor Shaving. I saw Hook and Lather. And, um, God, it was just so cool. Lee from WSP was there. Um, who else was there? So many people were there. The entire Razor Emporium staff was there. I'm just going in with this, guys, because it's, uh, I actually ended up getting a, um, a console, a adjustable slant. But we'll just talk about this for now, and then we're going to, we're going to get into this uh, console adjustable slant, maybe in the next shave. It's going to be, I got so much gear, guys, there's going to be maybe three parts, part one, part two, this will be part one. This is just like checking out what I checked out at the Razor uh, meetup. Um, so I'm going to start shaving this in a, oh, let's see here, got about, I'm going to say at least 
four days growth. Um, this soap, man, is really, really cool. I wonder if this is going to make the lineup. Um, I don't know. It's always, it's always interesting to see when, if, if and when tester soaps actually make the, uh, the lineup. But as far as this soap is concerned, um, it has really, really good slickness. I actually, I really do like the scent. And um, there's going to be a clip in there of them actually making it. And so that was that was the one thing that I'd never seen before in a, in a shave meetup was an actual live soap making demo. This meetup was crazy, guys. They had a soap making demo. They had a, an electroplating demo. They had um, oh, and then um, a brewery tour or not a brewery tour, but a, a brewery and um, a lunch afterwards, guys. I just can't tell you how awesome it was to meet fellow shavers again and to, to like meet community members again and just geek out on all this stuff, guys. It was just so fun, you guys. And I encourage each and every one of you, if you ever get a chance to go to a meetup or participate in a meetup. Um, I was supposed to go to the uh, Idaho meetup, but I just something came up and I just, I just, uh, I couldn't make it. So I was really, really happy when I when I saw that um, Matt Plasarsic over at Razor Emporium had this this meet. And so um, I think there's going to be another one maybe in uh, July. And so you guys, if you um, if you are so inclined, man, seriously, you should come hang out over at, um, at the Razor Emporium meet with us. So it was just really, really cool, guys. Everybody was super, super nice. Mm. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I don't like uh, letting my whiskers grow this long. It's... Mm. Nice. Let's see. Um, my girlfriend absolutely loved it, uh, which is kind of weird because it's really interesting. When I was at when, when when we were there, you know, we like most of the shavers. I don't really think they come with their girlfriends or significant others, and so we were talking to some of the shavers about gear, maybe like gear acquisition disorder gear acquisition disorder and um I were really impressed that my significant other my girlfriend is actually heavily involved in the in the um hobby with me you know so oh man I just had to shave really 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 bad all right mm. have any, any of you ever been to a meetup Some folks would ask, well, why do you go to a meetup? What's, what's the advantages of going to a meetup? Well, it's, it's like anything, you know? I got a buddy who's who's in, into um, orchids, you know? So that's kind of like the thing now is like, if you're into something, it's probably an entire Instagram community on it, you know, or a Facebook community on it. And so my thing is going to shave meetups and seeing... Um, Meeting the artisans. I absolutely love meeting artisans. Most artisans, I'll say most artisans, not all artisans, but most artisans are actually pretty cool. Very approachable. All right. All right, that's it. Plenty of residual slickness. Um, this synthetic badger here is, um, whoops. This synthetic badger by Razor Emporium was a little bit more challenging for me to use, but this was my first time use on this. Um, the soap was a lot softer than I thought it was. Still smells really good, and I'm going to use this as a sort of a keepsake. Um, let's see what else. This also came with a votive candle. I know you guys are seeing like candles in the community, and so um, it was just really cool that we got an actual puck of soap and an actual matching candle. So first time I've ever seen that. Go ahead and rinse the face. All right, I think we're good. We check. We're good. All right, cold water rinse. There is plenty of slickness. I'm not sure if this is a tallow or not. This Arizona Shave Meetups is, is a tallow. If any of you, if any of you know um, if this is a tallow, comment below. I just forget. Um, oh, we're back in business, guys. Um, I'm gonna put up some clips of the uh, of the event, and um, please uh, just take uh, take your time, check it out, guys. And um, I really, I hope to see some of you there. Um, it's just really, really cool getting to see some other folks. Um, all right, let's see here. So. Shave is over, so I showed you the brush, the uh, razor handle, Mercure 34C, and the meetup soap.
candle. Um, I also ended up picking up a couple samples. So I got this sandalwood, got this lavender, and these are all Razor Emporiums, and this is citrus. So yeah. All right, guys. Um, pre uh, enjoy the show. Please uh, comment below. Um, any questions, concerns? Um, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing uh, your take on it. And um, I'm just so excited, guys. I've been waiting to premiere a shave meetup for ugh, forever and a day, seriously. And then in the next shave, we're going to go ahead and use this um, Rex. This is a uh, tallow shave so from Razor Emporium. And the scent notes um, at this point are just codenamed Don Draper. So this is like a real nice, uh, clean executive scent, man. And I'm going to use this um, in the next shave with this new console by Razor Emporium. And this is an adjustable slant. Fellas, enjoy the content. Comment below. Please like and subscribe. And guys... We will see you in the next shave. Shave Cave out. You guys, we're here at the Razor Emporium meetup. This is in North Phoenix, just north of the airport. Each one done individually, each one one at a time, but usually Emily is sometimes multitasking. She's doing something else while she's doing this. She may be listing her product for sale on the website and doing this at the same time. So. Hand grabbed by Eric one at a time on this machine right behind you, a belt grinder. So we couldn't do the straight razor work that we do in our building without Eric. He's been a huge part of our team for years. Really happy to have him as part. But you get a, a wicked sharp edge from the straight edge. You can thank Eric for that. <laughs> Eric, you probably have close to a dozen different stones to choose from. Uh, at this point, a lot more than that. More than a dozen stones. So people always ask me, what does it take to sharpen a straight razor? Is it like sharpening a knife? And I say, no, they're cousins, but they're they're not really that close. A knife, you want it to be blunt enough to go through a bone or some heavy, you know, cartilage on maybe an animal, if you're, if you're taking out an animal. Straight razor can work through the hair. You need it to be very comfortable. So the edge has to be more like 12,000, 20,000, sometimes even 30,000 grit. So Eric's going to use his experience and the kind of steel, the kind of blade to make those decisions of how high up he needs to go and what stones to use and what progression. Hanging out at Razor Emporium Meat. You guys gotta check out these straights, man. Sick, dude. It's polished by this guy right here, man. This guy's a master polisher for Razor Emporium. You guys gotta check us out, man. It's really sick, dude. This is where they do all the polishing, too. Always polishing. Very cool. This one's done. This is our factory nickel finish. We have, it looks like, a Gillette Fat Boy over here. Center bar, bottom plate, handle, dial, guard, tray, doors. We got a small bow end tech. And we have, looks like, part of a uh, well, this looks like some random parts. Sometimes we have to do redos, and sometimes we have my parts, we're just throwing other parts on here. We keep track of all the customer parts. Every rack has a number, so that's number two. So my staff's going to write down what was on rack two. They're going to put, like, on the left side was this order, the right side was this order. We keep track of everything like that. So you guys are welcome to take a look. Yeah, we pass it around. That's our nickel finish. Yeah. 35 seconds. I love these old timers. These are out of photography labs. I love them because they're big, they work, they make a big loud buzz sound when they're done. I'll turn on some sprays. These are 24 gear gold. I'm going to capture most of the runoff right in here. It goes in a bucket. And this evaporates and pour it right back in. I'm trying to get off as much as possible. Every drop is a couple pennies, right? I usually run it until it runs clear. Wow. I'm over here, my deionized water rinse. This is heated to 109 degrees. Help it to get any water marks off. Dry off. There we are. Wow. wow. How durable is that? This is 24 carical. What was the question? How durable? Uh, I mean, I can't stop chemistry. Gold is a soft metal. But we put this strike, which is actually a really, really strong gold underneath it. Well, 
like a 14 carat. One second. Okay. And then we put the nickel underneath that. The nickel is really what gives it some strength. So I'll show the rest of the guys out there. You want to step out? Where is it? Right here? This is the sodium hydroxide mix over Razor Emporium. This is how he finishes um, all of his metal stuff. Really, really cool, guys.
And there we go. There is our shape soap. So are you using the Yeah, we're going to